Hey man, it's the ISO guy sensei, the greatest 2K in existence, and listen up man. Your boy is finna show you the best dribble moves in Caesar big guards and little guards. I'ma go and review the moves so you ain't gotta do it yourself, my boy. I'ma also show you the best settings and the best badges to use in season five, man. So look, here are the new season six rewards, man. If y'all wanna see my live reaction to this, man, just go um to my channel, um, go to the live section, and you can see my live reaction to the rewards, man. These are the new rewards for season six. If y'all did not know, they done made it to where on current gen, you get a new mascot that's never been seen, and on next gen, you get a glider, another vehicle, transportation reward man y'all rate all these rewards down below man one through ten wrl season man hilarious let me show you my settings real quick before i um show you the badges and then the best dribble moves go over them real quick let me show you my settings real quick okay these are my settings take off your trigger effect too many of y'all have trigger effect on i play with a lot of randoms too much trigger effect is on bro take it off you old heads it is throwing you off it's like super vibration do you like stuff j jamming in your hand you also have to change it in your playstation settings too bro y'all are crazy um put it on absolute absolute default okay you do not want to do dribble moves only stop doing that please um this is just all better manual um so when you hold l1 for the double team uh, none, none of that really matters but um, keep on your shading indicator and then your who to guard. Now for your badges, bro. When it comes to this dribbling thing, unpluckable needs to be max. Quick first step needs to be max. Handles for days needs to be silver plus. Clamp breaker is more important than killer combos, okay? I don't know, y'all are lost or something. You want this as high as you can get it, okay? Um, I don't be hitting level 40, but uh, yeah. You want to get Clamp Breaker maxed out, four killer combos and all that. Bailout, you need to unleash bronze. Silver is what makes it really good, but bronze, but if you don't be doing a lot of bailouts, you really don't need it. Hyperdrive, I, I use Hyperdrive. Some people say it's a waste, I don't know. I, I be using hyperdrive. Y'all let me know if y'all notice a difference. Ankle breaker don't be working, but this is my playmaking bad setup, bro. Now look, you need boost. You need gym rat, okay? Now, I don't have gym rat on this build, but listen, you need gym rat. It gives you the effects of plus four for all your physical, okay? Or you could just do your drills, but make sure you do it, okay? Um, you need Gatorade. You don't have to, but if you want to shoot better and dribble way better and deal with the adrenaline way better, you need Gatorade. At least one or two of them and you Gucci, but they're, they're, they're stealing from us. You don't have to do that, okay? Um, yeah. Now, you see these physicals over there? Everything get the feeling of plus four like the skill boost that you buy it's no more it raises plus four anymore this is for current and next gen by the way now okay so the only dribble style they released this season is Kyrie Irving I don't have a build with a 90 speed with ball uh if y'all do hit me up let me know um I already tested all these sigs in the beginning of the year I don't really think this is nothing to really talk about so I don't really know where to rank this. If y'all know anything, let me know down in the comments, bro. Now look, your dribble style, man. Chelsea Gray is horrible. You can't even speed boost. The whole development team is garbage. I bet you they didn't even test this out. Next maker's trash. Anyone who flies out there, trash. There's so many dribble moves where you can't speed boost out of, and I don't even think they know. You can't speed boost out of this. Don't waste. Michael Jordan is the best dribble style. Then you can say like Chris Paul and then the Gabby. But Michael Jordan is the one to go with. Okay. If you can't get Michael Jordan, you know, you can mess with the Gabby. And yeah, Jamari ain't good too. But you can only do the 22 misdirections really on that hoe. And you get delayed speed boost. Now, for signature size up, Jason Tatum. This is horrible. Um, You can't do your fastest left right speed boost very fast the other dribbles are kind of cool and all that but you can't do your normal left right fast okay so this is a no-go another signature size up that was released was damian lillard this is another horrible one um there's a delay when you try to uh burst to the left or the right so it's a uh, it's, it's not it's not usable really now this is for big builds. I'm 
I'm gonna show y'all the small build six too. Don't worry. Mike Bibby is decent. It's okay. Okay, your signature size up. It's okay. Um, it's a delayed speed boost, but you could dribble around quick with it, so it's worthless. Um, Allen Iverson, you can dribble around with it quick, but it's like a delay speed boost, so worthless. Um, Kobe White, um, I think I tried it. Worthless. <laughs> but like dribble god style, it could be cool, but like comp wise, worthless. Now my favorite size up for a uh, big build is Giannis because you get the fastest speed boost, but if you don't like Giannis because you like to, um, right stick dribble you know stand still dribble then you can use t mac or DeRozan or wade etc darren fox but um my favorite is Giannis or t mac those are my top two now the size up escape this is the best season six dribble move um now finally y'all can spam the behind the back misdirection and have a, a low ball handle you usually need like an 89 to get the john wall i think i believe all you need is an 80 now so now y'all can rock with this if y'all want this it's gonna help your combos um it got a decent step back nothing crazy but it's not horrible it has like nice um r2 movements it's real it's 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 a nice size up bro it's dope I like it, man. But I don't know if I would put it over the um, KD. May uh, I mean, but it's it's 80 ball handle, right? So yeah, like John Wall, you need 89. Steph Curry, you need 92. Kevin Durant, you need 75. See, I don't know. I don't know. Um, the misdirection, I think, is probably lower than the one they give you on KD, so yeah. You know, test it out. Now, escape size up. This is actually a good escape size up. If y'all want me to drop a dribble tutorial, um, hand cam, just get this uh, video to 500 likes and I got you, my boy. This is actually good, man. It has nice misdirections. It has the Luka step back, which is decent. In 22, you got a speed glitch out of it, but it's still good now, like it's actually usable, it's different. But um, besides this, um, I would say John Wall is my favorite. It gives you faster momentums and faster misdirections. But if you don't like that, then KD would be second for the escapes and then like Kobe, etc. I, I would say Kevin Durant. Moving crossover J. Cole. This is an okay moving cross. It's kind of cool. It gives you a different move. Y'all let me know how y'all feel about it, man. It's, it's okay. Still on next gen. Um, it's Russell Westbrook, my boy. This Luca moving cross is trash. I don't really like it. The John Wall moving cross is trash. Man, my favorite moving crosses are James Harden, Chris Paul, and Russell Westbrook. You could choose between the the three. Which one you want to pick? Chris Paul makes you like dribble better, but it's not like a super attack and size up, go crazy thing. Now they finally put the Scotty Pippen, bro. I think this is supposed to be Pro 3. They completely ruined Pro 3 for no reason. This is basically like Pro now. I don't know why they be like ruining moves. It looks like Pro moves faster, bro. So, <laughs> 2K, like, was, was Pro 3 Scotty Pippen, like, was it just so game breaking? No, bro. Just upgrade all the other behind the backs y'all always nerf stuff it's horrible 2k i don't know the difference between these two bro so <laughs> i just be picking ai bro i don't know moving spins this this ain't about nothing man you can't even spin back with it moving spin basic of course moving hesitation zach levine moving step back uh i don't really see nothing out of this so you move moving step back either normal or luca and um, I go with normal, triple threat, I go with MJ. I ain't tried this one. And if y'all wanna hear my explanation for everything else, you know, just watch the earlier parts of the video. But uh, for a small build, bro, Trey Young and Steve Francis, um, 
Steve Francis is too glitchy to not use, and yeah, those are the cigs. Hey, hey, here we go again. Yeah. Here, here we go again. People talking this for when this hit the fan. Everything I'm that made me. Now break it down. Yo, off the top of the dome, dome.